Hey guys, what's up? I'm Strupia and right now I'm after my oral, oh, oral exams from English and they were pretty easy, let's say. And I think that speaking and doing all the time videos in English has helped me a lot because now I can talk fluently, at least much more fluently than I used to talk in past, like one year before I started making videos. And uh, even now I can see a big difference when I look at my first videos and currently uh, progress. And this is claiming the Vlad Dracula that I got in my mailbox from IGG and it was long time ago, it was three months ago or maybe four, I, I don't remember very well and that Vlad was born, oh sorry, <laughs> I'm after a dinner so something is happening in my stomach. That Vlad was born with three or five stones in back. Four or five war god was waiting for him. Yes, that talent was waiting for a few weeks. And finally I can claim my Vlad and I will start leveling him up. I will try to get him high, hi as high as I can for now. And I have a lot of shirts saved from for him. But as you could see in my previous videos, I wasn't upgrading his skill for a long time because I'm I was working on my pumpkin nuke. First of all, I wanted to get my pumpkin to 9 of 9 and then take care of the Vlad. So you are asking me questions, is Vlad is there a difference between Vlad 2 of 9 and 8 of 9? Yes, there is a huge difference, but for some basic game modes, Vlad is powerful enough that even with 2 of 9 or 1 of 9 skill, he's kicking some asses. And and yes, for example, 8 of 9 will be very helpful when, when you will be doing a higher HBM waves like Q, R, S and T because there's a lot of strong heroes with very high HP and let's say maybe, maybe high skill Vlad can tank a little bit more 1 versus 1 but to be honest Vlad tanking some bosses even my Vlad that is currently level 100 level 100 inscriptions the maximum level of inscriptions with 3 or 5 bulwark set from Crest and also 4 or 5 war god even he cannot tank at all boss at HBMR well he can barely tank a boss at HBM Q, Q and maybe maybe if that Vlad will be 180 level Maybe if he if if he will have a set of five or five talent from crests, maybe bulwark, let's say, and five or five war god, or let's say life drain, five or five life drain and five or five war god, something like that. Maybe then he will be able to tank one versus one. But for now, it's absolutely not possible. Because at the beginning, it is very good. He's getting heals from prog. But what happens when the boss stuns your Vlad? Or what happens during the prog? Because Vlad is dealing damage randomly. First, second is dealing damage, but then I'm not sure if there's some kind of algorithm if he's dealing damage or not, but let's say it's happening randomly. But to be honest, nothing connected with machines with I cannot be random. It can only imitate random things, but it's it's not truly random. There are some kinds of algorithm algorithm that are counting everything and choosing special numbers, decisions. So, but it's a different topic. If you are interested in that, you can go and read in the internet some articles explaining that. Why I cannot be random, cannot make random decisions and stuff like that. And yeah, I will be using all these books to get him. Uh, I won't be able to get him to 9 stars, but after getting him to high level enough and uh, yeah, let's say... 7 stars, I will be able to solo HBMJ, or maybe 8 stars. 8 stars is pretty safe guess. And uh, of course with Town Hall 20, because one hero, for one hero it's hard to keep all buildings alive. Because it doesn't matter that your, hero is still, your heroes are still alive when you lose all the buildings. That's also very stupid because, let's say there's a situation, there are all these new HBMs, all these new game modes that involve very high damage heroes, enemy heroes. Heroes that are destroying everything with one proc, all the buildings. Because these buildings doesn't have a high HP. Now, nowadays, the buildings have lower HP than our heroes. Yeah, that's a fact. Sometimes our heroes have more than 100,000 HP, maybe not. Now they can have even 200,000 HP because let's say the hero base, bonus, inscriptions, 100 level, crests and uh, some other factors that maybe will be added in the future 
all the time our heroes are gaining more and more HP, but the buildings have the same HP all the time. And it's extremely stupid when you lose all the buildings, but all your heroes are still alive. Yeah, that something happens, sometimes happens, and uh, it happens pretty often. Let's don't hide that problem. In my opinion, it should be solved, but no one seems to be interested in that topic. One thing that is very good in new game mode, multiplayer HBM, the buildings can have a maximum level 30. 30 level. And even without the levels above 20, they have a huge HP. Yeah, they have a really huge HP bonus. Comparing level 15 hero base to level 20, the difference is huge. In multiplayer HBM, level 15 hero base has more HP than level 20 hero base normally. And I'm really glad they, they thought about that. And it was a very good idea in my in my opinion. And I really approved that. So I must agree that some of the new IDD changes are going very well. They are making some decisions towards the, uh, towards us, towards players that want to have, that, that want to enjoy playing. So uh, they implemented the HP bars that that we were asking many many months ago, but we were ignored for for so many months. It was promised many times, and yeah, we had to wait probably a full year for that update. But now, IGG seems to be a little bit interested what's going on uh, with players, what they want to get. They are making some Q&A with, with developers and uh, IGG workers, so we can get some uh, answers on our frequently asked questions. And uh, I don't know why they are doing that, but in my from my point of view, they are not doing that because they want to make us enjoy the game. They're having some serious problems because less and less big players are playing the game. So many top players from leaderboard and players that used to spend thousand dollars want to quit the game. The game starts to be boring for them, the game starts to be really annoying for them, some, some all the time repeating bugs and uh, other not really comfortable things are not making that game enjoyable. You, you can handle that for a few weeks, few months, but when you are meeting these problems a whole year, even two, then it starts to be extremely annoying. So they they want to they want to still somehow manage to to uh, how to say it, to help that what is left for them, the players that still didn't leave the game, and they want to to I'm missing one word them in Polish it's uratować, but in English I have to use Google Translator now. Yeah, sometimes I I have to do it. Oh, I, before using that I already recall the word and it's safe. They want to save the things that are still left. The players that are still playing the game before everything will collapse. Eh, that's that's my opinion. You can have a different opinion. Maybe they want to make us more happy, and so so we will give them better ratings. But that's what I think. Um, well, to be honest, I don't know what to talk about now. So I think that I will just put some music and maybe maybe I will add something at the end. So enjoy the music, guys. Bye.